Parents, friends, and students packed to the Spokane Arena for Gonzaga's graduation today. Of course, it's a new beginning for these students and the official end of the 125-year anniversary of the school. KXY Force Ian Cole was there today and introduces us to a very special graduate. And calling this ends the year of first for Gonzaga. I'm not just talking about the basketball accomplishments. They also had the most amount of Peace Corps volunteers than any other college in the country. This is the largest class to ever graduate from Gonzaga and another special first inside. Every one of the 1,306 seniors here has a story about how they passed, the people they met along the way, or why they chose Gonzaga. I got five older sisters. They all went here, graduated from here. My dad works here. Both my parents graduated from here, uh, so I'm just really excited. And when you graduate from college, it may feel like the time has flown by or that too much time has passed. My daughter graduated from here, my grandkids graduated from here. When I retired, I said, okay, it's my turn. 70 years after graduating high school, Betty Horick made her dream come true today. She says no one could afford to go to college during the Depression, so Betty worked as an office manager, and when she retired, became a Zag in 1998. I started out taking four courses every semester, and then I said, hey, I retired from all this work. I'm going to take less. Sure, it took a little longer than usual to get her general studies degree, but the 88-year-old doesn't mind. Today, she became the oldest person to ever receive a bachelor's degree from Gonzaga, and the super senior citizen also has plans for after graduation. Well, I have plenty of things to do. <laughs> There's always something to do, and I got news for you. You don't have to go to college to learn something. You can learn something from everybody. I can talk to you, and I'll learn something. Yes, she'll always keep learning, teaching, and hopefully telling her story. Everybody can do it if they just want to. <laughs> In Spokane, Ian Cole, KXOY4.